everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a comedian and an actress you know from her six seasons on Saturday Night Live. She's also author of the book, Whoops, I'm Awesome. Please welcome to The Late Show, Melissa Villasenor. <laughs> No, please, oh, no, you, please. You. No, no, no. Right. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Oh hey, so lovely God. to have you on. Thanks for having me. That's my pleasure. This is such an honor pleasure. to be here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> honor to have you. You just had a birthday. That's a great thing. You just had a birthday yeah, a couple days 36. ago. 36. Happy birthday. It says yeah. right there. It says 36. 36. Right oh, there. you wrote it. I wrote it down, yeah. They told you. They told me 36. <laughs> wow, it's true. Was it a secret? I was not no, supposed no, to know. No, no, I don't, I don't mind. Go. Okay, Let good. Let them know. Yeah. That's why I let my the grays grow. I want let it let it show. It's very distinguished. It's I feel cool. Yeah, it is very cool. Yeah, yeah it's like a little Bonnie Raitt. Yeah. Yeah. It was low key this year, mm. but I've had big you know I've had big birthdays, especially when I was at SNL. Uh, is can, that what this is? Yeah, I, I wanted to show you guys. There was one year when this, I. This is the right one. Yeah. yeah. It was my birthday uh, on the SNL taping when Kim Kardashian hosted. And uh, I met her, and um, I took a photo with her. And you know, she sang me "Happy Birthday," which is like, eh, so, uh, who gets that from a Kardashian, you know? And she, <laughs> she was like, "Happy Birthday," and it was so interesting because at oh, she that she has a beautiful voice. Happy Birthday! To I'm just guessing that's, but <laughs> um, I went to the after party, and she had a box of donuts there next to her for some reason. I got really excited for the donuts. <laughs> Poor yeah, Kim. I see Kim, but I was like, oh, Kim, are these your donuts? <laughs> and, uh, and she goes, yeah, you can have them. So I took them. I ate them. They were really good. Uh, she didn't want them. So the photo I have, I'm still holding the donut. You've been on a stand-up tour for the past six months. It yeah. is called the New Things Tour. Yeah. Why the New Things? Because it was, a, it's a new chapter. I was on SNL for six seasons, which is amazing. I'm proud of myself. Sure. Uh, and then did that just fly? It did. Yeah? Yeah. But I, I felt like um, this whole past year, I've been writing, this is a new hour, and it's all about what do you do after the big, the big goal? I didn't have any other plans. <laughs> so I don't, so it's all about reflecting on how amazing it was. I got to do the impressions that I've been doing for a long time. Sure. To the celebrities, to their face, you know? <laughs> and some of them liked it, some didn't. Uh, Natalie Portman loved it. Sure. She was like, wow, thank you so much. No one's, <laughs> no one's ever imitated me before. That's amazing. Uh, she was like, I, and she really said, I, I really thought I was, I just thought I was boring. I thought I, I, ha I thought I had nothing unique about my voice. And I was like, what's that, Natalie? I fell asleep. What'd you say? <laughs> I thought I was boring. No. Uh, I mean, who did, may, may I ask who didn't, or is that too sensitive? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, uh, well, no. Owen Wilson, I've been doing a long time, OK? Yeah. That voice, a long, I sound like him because of the years. Um, but it stuck after it a stuck, while. It stuck, yeah. Yeah. And I, I did approach him, and I said, Owen, let's do the Owens together. What do you think? And he got sensitive, and he was just, you know, but that's so Owen, you know. Sure. He was like, he was like, you know, you know, I thought about it, you know, but I feel like, I feel like people are tired. People are tired of the Owen and the Wow videos. They're tired. And I was like, I'm not tired. I need this. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, in six years, that's a quite an achievement. I mean, I, I worked for SNL for one month, and I was so exhausted, I thought I would die. <laughs> and how did you, like, what, when do you know it's time to move on? I just felt it. I, I felt like I couldn't do another year. I think it was just, I, I just listened to myself. I think it was, it was getting a lot. And do you know I, how I knew when it was time for me to move on? How? They said, no, we won't hire no, you. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, yeah. I'm not jealous of you at all. This isn't awkward in any way at all. <laughs> You've also done a lot of uh, art. Yeah. Since you, have you always done it, or is this a new thing? I mean, in high school, when I was a little punk, I was, I was doodling on the corners mm -hmm. of paper. But, but, I love this. but these days, I it's, it's been flowing out of me, and this is, I just, I just that. listen. It's yeah. skeletons at a campfire, a sing-along. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's, 
it really is a sweet one. I feel like because yeah. it's I. They're dead, but they're but still they're... having fun. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's hopeful. No, it is because it's it's all that matters is the gathering and laughing. Right. That's all that matters. Dead or alive. And 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 the little ones are the stars are the ones that pass that are still joining. Oh. It's a deep one, guys. They're deep. <laughs> You also, and I already have this book. Oh. I also, I really like this book. It's <laughs> called, uh, Whoops, I'm Awesome. And I'm just curious where that title came from. Because uh, it, feels, it feels cool to say. Oh, whoops, guess I'm awesome. It's just, it's a cool delivery. Are you doing any singing these days? Yeah, I have new comedy songs I've been sharing on stage. Could you sh would you share one with yeah, us? Yeah, I want to share, I planned this. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get my friend Lewis over here to join me. Okay. So this song I wrote, um, it's kind of, I sing it in that folky girl voice that we all hear in the fall, tis the season, you know? <laughs> the girls are like, you broke my heart, what am I supposed to do? You know those girls and you're, you're like, you're gonna be fine, you're hot, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna sing it like one of those chicks. Um, or I'll sing it one, like one of those ladies and uh, I wrote it about how I, I take these corny solo trips by myself to reconnect with my creativity and nature. And I've gone to the woods several times and every single time I'm, I get there and I'm mad. I'm like, why'd I do this? This sucks. I'm alone. There's no service. It's scary. So this song is called Solo Trip. Uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek, all right? I gotta get away from the city the noise and the traffic lights make me dizzy i'm such a fragile girl you see gotta be with the earth and the trees i got a key to an airbnb i see big giant love stains all over the sheets not a soul inside no one to call for help at night and soon i realize i'll probably be i'll probably be murdered tonight oh murder tonight no! So lovely. So, so lovely. Melissa Villasenor, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>